Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss mathematics paper two, KCSE 2023, number 19 on probability. A number is selected at random from the numbers 90, 91, then we have a 92, 93, 94. A second number is then selected at random from the numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. Afterwards, a quotient is obtained by dividing the first number selected by the second number. Complete the table or the probability space in the following table. So we are completing the probability space in the table here. The first number, which is between 90 and 94, is being divided by the second number, which is between 2 and 5. So when 2 and 90 is divided by 2, for example, we get 45. When 91 is divided by 2, we get 45.5 .5 or 45 and a half. When 92 is divided by 2, we get 46. Get 46. Then when 93 is divided, we get 46 and a half. And when 94 is divided by 2, we get 40. Seven. We can go to the next divisor, which is a three. When ninety is divided by three, we get thirty. When ninety-one is divided by three, we get thirty point three 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 or thirty and the third. Thirty and the third. When ninety-two is divided by three. They have already filled it for us. It's 30 and 2 thirds. When 93 is divided by 3, we get exactly 31. When 94 is divided by 3, we get 31 and a third. 31 and a third. In the next, we're going to fill 90 out of 4. This will give us. 22 and a half. 22 and a half. When 91 is divided by 4, we have the answer there. When 92 is divided by 4, we get 23 exactly. When 93 is divided by 4, we get 23 and a quarter. 23 and a quarter. When 94 is divided by 4, we get 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Then finally, we have uh, when we're dividing 90 and 5, we get 18. Then 91 out of 5, this will give us 18.2, which is 18 and a fifth. 18 and a fifth. Then 92. Out of five, we are getting uh, 18 and two fifths. 18 and two fifths. Then we have 93 out of five. This is giving us uh, 18 and three fifths. 18 and three fifths. Then uh, we are also having uh, 94 out of five. This is giving us 18 and 4 fifths. 18 and 4 fifths. Now we are told to determine the probability, that is after filling the probability space. Determine the probability that the quotient obtained is a whole number. First of all, we can check the number of the quotients obtained. Total possibilities 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 20 total quotients. Therefore, we want to see probability whole number. This is going to be, so whole numbers are going to be 1, 2, 3, um, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 of them out of 20. Whole numbers are the ones without any decimal or any remainder so it's seven 
out of 20 possible outcomes, determine the probability that the quotient obtained is a recurring Desmos. So we have several which are Desmos, but we strictly want the recurring Desmos, which are going to be 30 and 1 over 3 is a 30.333 recurring, so that is one. Another one is a, at this point, this is 31 and a third, so it's 31.333. Then uh, let's see whether we have another one, which is a, a recurring Desmo. Mm, when we consider another one like a 30 and two thirds, yes. Two thirds means six, 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 which is also recurring. So there are three options, uh, probability recurring Desmo. going to have only three out of 20 possible outcomes. There are only three. Then uh, we have a part B. In a shooting practice, the probability that a soldier will hit the target in his first attempt is 60%. This probability increases by 10% in the second attempt. The soldier shoots at the target twice. Determine the probability that in part one, the soldier will miss the target only once. Then uh, we also determine the probability that the soldier will miss the target in both attempts. So we can first of all get our probability tree diagram. Whereby we are saying a soldier can either hit or miss. Hit or miss. So we can have hit and hit not hit or miss, then uh, we say hitting is 60%, therefore missing will be 40%. Then after hitting or not hitting, the probability for the second attempt, remember that is the first attempt. So for the second attempt, this probability decreases by 10%. So when 60% increases by 10%, it becomes 110% of what it is, that is 66 percent so it means hitting not now is going to be when we subtract 66 34 percent therefore if we ask me hit hitting again now goes to 66 percent that means hitting not will be 34 percent and if he had missed he can still hit at a probability of 66% or hit not at a probability of 34%. Therefore, these are the possible outcomes. We can have hit, hit, or hit, hit not. Then uh, we have failing to hit, then hitting in the second, or failing to hit in both attempts. The soldier will miss in both attempts. So we can even fail part two, the first. So we need probability that he will hit and hit not will miss. So missing is a failing to hit. This is going to be 40% and 34%. This is going to be Mm -hmm. 17 out of 125. Then uh, we have a part one, which says the soldier will miss the target only once. Missing once means um, can either hit and miss or start by missing then hit. So it's going to be either probability, hit, then miss, or probability you miss then he hits so we're going to have uh, the probabilities as 60 percent and 34 percent or means addition in probability 
can start by missing, which is a 40%. Then he hits in the second attempt, which is 66%. So we can now compute this. We start by 60%. Multiplied by 34%. Then we add 40% multiplied by 66%. This is going to give us 117 over 250. 117 out of 250.